Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining. Today, I'm going to be talking about a risk-based approach to threat detection and how that can be used to reduce the time to detect and contain cyber incidents. And the big one is really just a poor historical global performance when it comes to cyber detection response. If you look at the latest Poneman Institute <clears throat> publications, they're showing the, the mean time to identify security incidents as over 190 days. Uh, with another 66 days beyond that is the mean time to contain incidents, um, which really is, as you know, global averages are, are just terrible. Um, so clearly we can do a better job at detection and response. So the methodology that we use for that is presented in this slide, and you know, it's pretty straightforward. We identify the top risks. Uh, this might come in the form of an enterprise risk register if the organization organization has uh, a mature risk management program, uh, we could expect to see uh, an enterprise risk register with top risks already identified and well-structured in risk statements. Um, <clears throat> if that isn't the case uh, or those aren't available um, for some reason to, to leverage for our purposes, uh, we'll talk in the next couple of slides about you know, how we can create that. Um, and, you know, that could be in the form of something very specific to the organization or something that's more industry aligned and industry risk profile. In either case, we identify the top risks, then we define the most likely attack scenarios related to those risks. Um, we don't have to define every possible attack scenario. What we want to do is understand, you know, what are the top attack scenarios that we're worried about? And from there, we can look in detail at the specific threat activities related to those attacks that are aligned to our key risks so that we're in a position to move on and develop analytics for each of the threat activities uh, across the attack chain. Those analytics that we develop, you know, we'll find that uh, many of them um, are broader, even though we're building them and aligning to them to a specific activity related to a risk, uh, those analytics then prove to be beneficial for other risk statements um, and for <clears throat> risks and other attacks that we uh, that we may not have thought of or that we haven't um, gotten around to mapping out yet. Um, and what we're really doing is is kind of building you know a foundation and a baseline or expanding our foundation if one exists, um, so that you know we're building out you know a complete threat detection capability. But we're really using this approach to prioritize um, how we do that. And then we move on to monitoring, investigating, and responding to threat activity, uh, utilizing those analytics, uh, and lastly, capturing metrics and informing uh, GRC and risk management 